Last night I went to see the brand new Zendaya film The Challengers and it was so good but the ending left some very big questions. Massive spoilers ahead in 3, 2, 1. Yes, it did end with the challengers being left on a cliffhanger. We don't know who won the tennis match out of, out of Patrick and Art, and we were left to the final tiebreak match point. But in doing that, we also don't know who won Zendaya's character, Toshi, because the boys' relationship with Toshi was first established from whoever wins the tennis match. Whoever won their first match got Tashi. And then 13 years later, even though Tashi is married to Art, she still seems to have something for Patrick, and Patrick wants her to join him to be his new coach. And so I do think there is a very high possibility that whoever won this final match would also end up winning Tashi. So who did? Well, obviously the ending is left ambiguous for a reason, and I think the point is that there's not really meant to be a winner because it kind of shows the twisted way of competing for a person is very bad, but I thought it would be so fun to pretty much do a pros and cons list of Art and Patrick and see who is most likely to win and in the end, who most likely won Zendaya. Let's start with Patrick and how he could have won the match, but also Toshi as well. Now, firstly, he never has lost a match with Art before. We've known this from ever since they were growing up uh, in the school together playing tennis. Patrick was always technically the better player than Art. It just so happens that Art ended up getting Tashi um, when he actually started getting into his career. Another reason why Patrick might win is he really, really needs the money and is basically bankrupt throughout the entire film. So he really needs to win regardless of Tashi's involvement whatsoever. He is there in the first place because he wants to win money because he doesn't really have much money. And I think money is definitely a massive motivator for him to definitely win. He is also ready to go pro again, and that's one of the reasons why he finds Toshi again and gives her his number. Unlike Art, Patrick is still thinking that there's still a few more good years left of him in tennis, and he actually wants to make it in the professional league. Art already kind of did, Patrick now wants his turn, and that's another motivator as to why he would have won. And we know Tashi wants to also continue with someone who is playing tennis. So if Patrick does win and then wants to go off and play even more tennis, Tashi might be persuaded to go with him. He also knows Art's tennis style and how to manipulate Art in the match. I mean, we see it at the end, which I absolutely love. I knew they were going to do this as soon as they started hating at it. And I think it's a great moment where the way how Patrick manipulates Art is by doing Art's move when he serves to indicate that he has just had sex with Tashi and you see Art go furious and it's such a good moment in this film. So that's another reason why Patrick could very easily win this match. And let's not think about the reasons why he could potentially win Tashi, not just the match itself. He is Tashi's ex and therefore was there before Art. And at the end of the day, it's Tashi who calls him the night before. Patrick gives her his number but it's her who ends up leaving the hotel and leaving Art to actually go and find him. In fairness, she is going to see him to tell him to not win the match, but Tashi does end up kissing him and having sex with him, and was that all just for the deal, or was there actually something in it that could potentially mean these two could get back together? And the fact is, this isn't even the first time they've done this. It's not the first time Tashi has already cheated on Art because she did so during their engagement in Atlanta. And if Art found out that she has done it again and had another affair, could he ever trust her? And does that mean that Patrick and her would end up together instead? However, what does Patrick have going against him that could be in favor of Art winning this match? Well, we have the fact that Toshi ends her career as a professional tennis player when 13 years before because of a fight that she had with Patrick and one of the reasons why she ends up getting injured is because she's so distracted by the fight that they've had with Patrick before and that's the reason why they end up breaking up in the first place. So that's definitely a reason as to why Toshi would not want to go back with Patrick. And Patrick is very much a loose cannon almost. Whilst Art is more sensible, Patrick lives more for the adventure, which can be appealing in the short term, but in the long term, would Toshi actually want to do that? And with many of Patrick's lifestyle choices, Toshi actually disagrees with them, you know, him sleeping with women just so that he can get a room for the night or even something like smoking. So that's Patrick out of the way. What about Art? What are his chances of winning the match and finally securing Tashi. 
for good this time. Now, firstly, he actually plays professional tennis with the greats, and he actually made it as one of the greatest tennis players in the world up to this point, whereas Patrick didn't. He is also very rich, which I know is quite cruel to say, considering Patrick is literally on the verge of bankruptcy, and that's the reason why he's playing, but Toshi and Art are rich. There's a certain lifestyle that they have to keep up, and sure, Art could retire, he could lose this match, but I don't think he necessarily would want to if that he might have to lose some of his money. Once you're rich, it's very hard to go away from that lifestyle. With that, Toshi and Art are a celebrity couple, and we see that massive poster of them on the side of a building in the city centre of just the two of them together that ends up getting ripped in half at the end of the storm. Patrick isn't even recognised by anyone who's running the tennis competition, and yet Art has his face on literal rackets and is the massive branding of tennis in America. They are celebrities, and I don't think Toshi would want to ruin her reputation by potentially splitting her and Art up, because at the end of the day, that would cause a lot of drama online, and celebrities do not want that drama. And of course, the most important point for Art is him and Toshi have a family together. Not only are they married, they also have their child Lily, who Toshi absolutely adores. And we see when Art is feeling down, who does he go to? He goes to Lily, which is another reason why uh, for their child, the two parents wouldn't want to split up. We also have the fact that Art and Toshi have been a team together for over a decade at this point. They've not only built their celebrity status and made their fortune together, they've made successful careers as a tennis player and a tennis coach. They work well as a team together. Breaking that up now might not work, and we know that Art was there when Toshi first got injured, and so breaking that up now might not be that wise. And speaking of which, the only reason why Toshi goes to Patrick in the first place before she has sex with him is so that she can tell Patrick to lose so that Art can go on and grow his career. So she very much has Art's best interests at hand. Of course, then she does end up breaking it by having an affair, but apart from that, she the thought is there to begin with. She wants Art to be successful, and so that's the reason why he could probably win the match. But what does Art have against him winning? Well, he is lacking in tennis confidence, and we've seen that since the beginning of the movie, and he's getting very old. The reason why he's in this competition is because he needs it in order to progress to the next stage, in order to have enough motivation to carry on playing tennis. And before this, he wants to actually quit tennis, and that is all what Toshi is about. She is only for tennis, it's what she lives, it's what she breathes, and without it, she isn't Toshi. And so I'm thinking, if Art does end up leaving tennis, would Toshi stay with him? And when Art asks Toshi about whether they would stay together if he did quit, she says no. So does that mean that Art and her wouldn't stay together? And so the stakes are really high, but I think the answer to the question about who actually wins the match and who actually ends up winning Toshi, we need to ask the question, what does Toshi want? At the end of the day, she's the one who chooses. Now, regardless of who wins, I do think she would definitely choose one of them. And it all comes down to her child, Lily. Because even though Toshi did go and cheat on Art on the night before the match with Patrick, she does return to see him with Lily, and Lily is the only thing that she loves more than the sport. So, who won the match? I do think Art won the match because I reckon Patrick does end up losing on purpose because he thinks he might still have a shot with Toshi, and then when Art does end up winning, Toshi just ends up sticking with Art because of the family that they've created. However, I do think the boys' friendship would then be fixed afterwards, and I'm not sure whether Art would necessarily return to tennis after this match, but I do think even if Toshi did return to Art, I do reckon she would go off to Patrick and help him with his tennis career, because at the end of the day, like we say, all she really loves is tennis, but I think she'd definitely do it a lot with a lot more stricter guidelines, making it very much professional, not this casual friendship thing that could potentially lead to her cheating again. But I do think at the end of the day, Toshi will end up with Art, but Patrick will still go on to be a very successful tennis player. That is what I think happened at the end of the film. What did you guys think happened? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And what other pros and cons are there for Art or Patrick to end up winning? Let me know all your thoughts down there. And as always, we've been here on Gative Theories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.